Ellen, who's a member of the Norfolk City Council, a businesswoman and a mom of three. Uh, she is a member of the Workforce Development Committee for the Statewide Offshore Wind Task Force, um, was named to the Virginia Joint Subcommittee on Coastal Flooding, um, and uh, into the uh, Chesapeake Bay Program's Local Government of, uh, Advisory Committee as Vice Chair of the Virginia Delegation. Um, I I'm sure I missed a whole bunch of things, and she can, <laughs> she can uh, enlighten us, uh, but uh, Councilwoman, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Uh, thanks, everybody. Yes, my name's Andrea McClellan. And actually, I want to start off by uh, thanking Brian Graham uh, for creating that incredible online petition signature gathering tool that allowed all of us to get on the petition, as well as to uh, FCDC for hosting this, this very safe and virtual event this afternoon. Unlike the COVID denier, uh, conspiracy theorist Amanda Chase, who, as we are speaking, is holding her own super spreader in-person event right now. Uh, so I'm running for lieutenant governor because I want to continue the great work that we've been doing to ensure access to opportunity and to break down the barriers for all Virginians who have been struggling to get ahead. I know what that's like. I was raised by a single mom who juggled multiple jobs to make ends meet. And I worked my way through the University of Virginia with four years of work study jobs and Pell Grants and student loans. And after graduation, I ran two small businesses of my own. And when I returned to Hampton Roads, I noticed too many families who were struggling as my mom had. And so I decided to get involved and I volunteered with organizations that help victims of domestic violence and homeless families and folks who've recently been incarcerated with reentry programs. And in 2008, I became a precinct captain for the Norfolk City Democratic Committee. So thank you to all you great uh, Democratic volunteers out there. And I have been organizing uh, for great candidates up and down the ballot since that time. And in 2016, I decided to take on a 16 year incumbent for the Norfolk City Council. And despite being told to wait my turn, and it was not my time, I beat him in 19 of 23 precincts. And I now represent 125,000 Virginians, the largest constituency of any candidate in the Lieutenant Governor's race. On city council, one of the first uh, actions I took was to pass an ordinance to ban discrimination based on sexual orientation and gender identity. And I'm proud to say I've received the uh, uh, best ally and best politician from Outwire 757 Magazine for two years running. And I focused on and prioritized the environment, creating the first uh, climate action plan for our region and bringing millions of dollars to the area to address flooding and also bringing the first all electric transit buses to the Commonwealth. Also, uh, when looking around and seeing so many families who are struggling because of the digital divide, I helped to stand up our first regional broadband authority where we are working to bring more affordable high-speed internet to a million Virginians. And on the, as co-chair of the Norfolk Commission on Social Equity, I'm working to address the issue of, uh, of affordable housing and mental health for our community members. So listen, I'm in this race because I wanna to continue to ensure that we have more access to opportunity, equitable access to opportunity for all Virginians, something that none of the Republicans in the Lieutenant Governor's race are doing, especially not Tim Hugo, who's never missed an opportunity to take a problem and make it worse. For example, in Northern Virginia with transportation. But we're not here today with Amanda Chase or Tim Hugo, luckily, and I'm here with the support and uh, backing of Senator Dave Marston, Supervisor Penny Gross, former Delegate Margie Vanderhyde, Congresswoman Elaine Luria, and Norfolk Mayor Kenny Alexander. And I would love to earn your support in the straw poll tonight and on the ballot starting on April 24th. I'm Andrea McClellan. 